Hi there, welcome to this short video about the basic moves. Now the basic moves are principles that we implement into each yoga pose. And the reason we do that is it helps to align the body correctly, but it also helps to create space and decompression between the joints for those of us that are perhaps feeling a little stiff and we want to increase our flexibility and mobility with our yoga practice. But equally for those of us who are hypermobile, so really naturally very, very bendy and perhaps a little too bendy, it actually activates the muscles that supports the joints so that we prevent any hanging off the joints and any damage. So when we talk about the basic moves, we always start from the ground up. So you might want to try this with me now. If we start with the feet underneath the hips and we want the feet to be active feet. So the best way to wake up the muscles through the ankles and the feet is actually just to try lifting all 10 toes off the floor and then spreading them as wide as you can. Now that might actually just shift your weight slightly. Let that happen because it's going to put the weight back over the center of the arch of the foot. So if I stand normally at the side here, I would normally pitch my weight slightly forward. The moment I lift my 10 toes up, it actually sends me back over the arch of my foot. And then from there, I lie my 10 toes lightly on the floor without then changing my weight distribution again. Maintaining those active feet, I then gently draw up the muscles at the front and the back of the legs, which means that the knees need to stay soft, not locked all the way back like some people are able to. So we draw the muscles up. Then to create some space around the hips and the lower back, there's a sensation of lengthening the sit bones slightly down towards the back of the heels, just enough so that the lower belly muscles at the front draw in. This creates a long and spacious feeling through the lower back. And this activation through the lower abdominals is going to help to support the lower back vertebrae. The ribs. We always have a sense of telescoping the ribs up away from the pelvis. If you think of our normal day-to-day -day posture, a lot of us sit down and slouch either forward like this, or actually we might lean back like this. And this is going to compress the spine in various different ways. So by telescoping the whole circumference of the rib cage, we create more space and length and decompression through the spine. And it also allows us to open our lung capacity a little bit more and to breathe better. We're aiming to align the ear over the shoulder, so that might require a slight drawing back of the shoulders if we're naturally rounded, it might require that we draw the chin back slightly. If we've got that forward head posture from lots of typing, lots of uh, playing with a phone, or lots of driving, lots of commuting, it can leave us here. So it's drawing it all back. A helpful way to envisage that is to picture that you're standing against a wall and the back of your head, the back of your shoulder blades, and your bottom would be against the wall. And then there's that sense of lifting everything up the wall behind you. The arms are active as well. So there's a lengthening of the arms, a spread of energy through the palms and a lengthening out through the fingers. So it's a gentle activation through the whole body. And in this way, just by activating through the whole body, we can then strengthen and lengthen through the whole body in a more uniform way when we go through our practice. You can practice the basic moves in all sorts of places, when you're doing your cooking, when you're brushing your teeth, anytime you like. But just have a little play with it every now and again in your day-to-day -day life and see if it makes a difference to how you feel, how you stand, and really importantly, how you're able to breathe. We'll be looking at these and these will be reiterated constantly through a yoga practice. So don't worry if you forget them. It's my job to help you remember them. I hope you found this helpful. Remember those basic moves, bring them into everything and it will make your practice a lot more effective.